I am the motographer, a photographer, a long distance motorcyclist and an entrepreneur. And I'm trying to build an exciting living and working space bringing together my love for motorcycling, gadgets and technology. A place unlike no other in India. This is the Moto Villa. Hey guys, another video on the building of the Moto Villa and this is where I am right now. Before I start the agenda for the day, the work for the day, I'm going to show you this, the setup that we have over here. So if you have just landed over here on my channel, my name is the Motographer and I am building something called the Moto Villa, which is supposed to be the headquarters for XBHP. So XBHP is India's largest motorcycling platform, which I found in 2002. This has given me an opportunity to learn a lot about a lot of things, interior design, gadgets, and of course, get the best motorcycles in one place. For example, this, the fastest bike in the world, the Ninja H2, is standing over here. We have more bikes, but they are not here. They are in different places, in different, for example, one of them is in a cafe. Anyway, let me actually just play this for a few seconds. The reason I'm going to do this is because I've just managed to set up uh, this three monitor awesome surround uh, gameplay and I'm running this off a laptop. So the frame rates are, aren't exactly what I would want. And this is need for speed heat. But have a look at this. This is like so cool. I mean, look at this. This is so amazing. I mean, I feel like I'm surrounded by these pixels, like 10,000 of them. So basically, it's like 10,500 pixels wide and some odd pixels uh, in height. But it's not exactly very smooth gameplay. What I'm going to do is right now is, you see that box? So, we are going to have a look what's inside the box and then we are going to use those things to populate this now I might appear very dark right now but this thing I built I got it done I designed it on paper and then I gave it to my carpenter I wanted to have something which was different very unique to display my scale model collection so this is basically of course made out of wood and this is acrylic and we've got homemade smart LED strips here. You can change the color, you can do whatever you want with these light strips. The only thing which is remaining uh, with the light strips is that I have to connect them with Alexa. So when I say Alexa or Google or something, switch on the motor park. So this is the motor park and it has five levels. One, two, three, four, five. And we are in a section of the motor villa called the motor cave. And so hence, there are different sections. Now I'm going to open this right over here, this box of goodies. And trust me, this is like extremely heavy. Now you have to pardon me because I just had my ACL surgery, my knee surgery one and a half months ago. I have not been able to ride motorcycles and I'm getting my knee bending back. So. I'm very happy to return to this place. Like I just came back yesterday after a month and a half to resume my building of the Moto Villa. So here we have a lot of things which have been packed meticulously using bubble wrap and they have been transported from the current Moto Cave which was um, an apartment, a room in an apartment which was the XBGB headquarters. So now we are trying to build this place which is around 4,000 square feet, three floors and it has different rooms so this one is these things are going to go over there in the motor park so let us just start with what we have right now and this is we've got a beautiful ferrari uh, this is 458 speciale but the thing is that i got the ferrari scale models when i um, drove my first ferrari in dubai i think two years ago and then i don't buy any scale model of cars in which you know i haven't driven or i haven't sat in so uh, this 
I mean, I haven't d driven the 458 Speciale, but I got uh, lots of Ferraris. You know, I was so happy after driving that Ferrari. So I got around 15, 20 of them, the scale models. So by chance, this is open and this is the first of them. Now let's inaugurate this, uh, the motor park by actually placing this Ferrari. So I'm going to place this here. Let, let's start by placing it here. So it's, it's looking rather nice. So the thing is that I built this uh, to be around 10 inches, which gives me this uh, freedom to actually place it like this, should my scale model collection grow further. But I'm going to use this angle for the time being. So, and another thing to note is that, you know, I've also used LED strips here, which have been set to uh, a natural light, just to, you know, simulate normal garage lighting. But you can imagine like, how it will look when I am actually building separate garages, you know, uh, which will look pretty realistic, I think, when I'm doing scale model photography. So uh, now it's actually a matter of opening uh, the cars, unwrapping one by one. So this is a Lamborghini and uh, just to let you know, uh, my favorite car, I mean, the, my dream car is a Lamborghini Aventador. And uh, this is uh, bluish in color. And of course, I don't think I will be a ever able to have a Lamborghini. But I never did imagine that I will be able to have uh, a Ninja H2 and a Rocket 3 and a Street Fighter V4 and a Hayabusa. So I'm, I'm very, uh, and an Indian FTR 1200. So I'm very thankful for that. So you never know, like, but this, of course, this in India, it's I think around seven crores. It's not a joke. So all right, here is my motor park coming to life. We have managed to unbox, unwrap around 200 cars. So I have a few more which are upstairs, which are bigger scale models. Those are actually RC cars. And uh, I have, as you know, like 2,000, 3,000 Hot Wheel cars. Some of them are basically adorning uh, the motor launch uh, wall and some of them are going to go into the motor arcade. And this is actually a great sight, you know, I mean, I haven't got too many cars, but they are going to go into the motor parking. But guys, I think being a motorcyclist, yeah. uh, I have to, we have to actually unwrap the motorcycles as well. So why don't we get to doing that? So we'll resume with the motorcycles. So as you can see, this is rather incomplete. In fact, you can even see the paneling behind. It's very raw right now. We are going to get some real machines, but on two wheels that can beat the hell out of any car over here, at least in terms of acceleration. Talking about that, if you're a petrol head, let me show you something for real, which is standing here, which is the world's fastest motorcycle, the Ninja H2. It's inside this place. And this place actually is called the Moto Cave, which is one of the rooms inside the motovilla to show you what we are going to actually unbox i want somebody to come and do that for me you know um he's called shatavedi he's my best friend you can say he's my brother and the thing is that i'm going to give him the hard work of unboxing this <laughs> so let me welcome shatavedi here ha huh, so here i am Although he has said that it's the hard work, but I would really like to say the otherwise. Because when you are actually unboxing something, the feeling of unwrapping your gift is awesome. Although these are not gifts, these are the collectibles that he has already collected from the entire world. But now I'm getting the opportunity to unwrap them. So let's go. All right, so here I am all set. But this is actually the part of the the bigger journey of 
मेकिंग दी मोटो विला हिंदी में जिसको बोलेंगे सफ़र तो उससे मेरे को ना एक एक्चुअली गाना याद आ रहा है ऑल दो मेरी आदत है हर चीज़ में गाना निकालने की तो ये एक गाना जो कि आई थिंक सब लोगों को याद होगा वो था यूं ही कट जाएगा सफ़र साथ चलने से के मंजिल लाएगी नज़र साथ चलने से तो ये रहा वो सफ़र का तोहफा द गिफ्ट दैट वी हैव to give to this beautiful place the motor villa so i think let's start the work all right so i have so many options to choose from from where should i start i think let's start from what is here in front of me this by the way this is the exor helmet box we have kept few bikes in this and every box is like a surprise for me right now because different kinds of bikes are wrapped in different kind of boxes and what i see here is oh great so this box has all the moto gp variants so till now i have unwrapped almost 200 bikes over here and i'm still very excited you know why because i still have this these two that one yet to open yet to unwrap so it is just like unwrapping happiness now every time i unwrap i am always excited what bike is there inside and i am sure with every bike unwrapped there is a story and wow look at this i got an s2 i've got an s2 here so i've got an s2 here i've got an s2 here wow what does that make it s4 <laughs> all right but then i'm sure every bike that is here has a story behind it because sunny has collected these from around the globe every time he has ended or finished some of his rides so to understand the story behind each one of these i am sure we need to start a new history chapter in the history class so boys be ready or maybe girls as well children be ready for a new history classes for you so here i am putting this one the h2 so mr shatterbedi has uh, unpacked around 5 600 motorcycles here scale models and uh, this is an amazing sight because a real bike a real dream motorcycle seems has been converted into from a, from a scale model to reality in the moto cave and uh, so now the process of putting them in the moto park starts In 2002 I found xbhp.com which became India's most popular motorcycling platform and community and then a print magazine as well Since 2006 I have been riding around the world on choicest of bikes and sometimes cars too Along the way I picked up the bug for collecting stuff after the end of every ride that I did This led to the building of XBHP headquarters which also showcased my collection and eventually the place itself became quite interesting with a lot of people coming to visit and shoot it even though it was a very small place but as we know places become big with the ideas they give birth to Finally in 2021 we decided to try and build a space which would not only serve as the XPHP headquarters but also it will be an experience and space unlike anything else in India so far a man cave a living space a working space a gaming space showcase of our collection and integrating some of the best gadgets and lots more and we call this the Moto Villa